this particular feature that i'm about to show you if you do not have it on your videos go ahead and edit it into your videos into your description box to be precise whether you're a small youtuber or a big youtuber you should have this in your videos and i'm also going to tell you why so even if you have the videos uploaded already or you've not even uploaded them you can edit this into your videos even if it has, has already been uploaded you can still go ahead and put it into your videos i'll go on my phone screen and show you exactly how to do it i've gotten questions about this particular feature and today i'm here to explain to you exactly how to do it another thing is this particular feature is going to help people to easily find the information that they are looking for on your videos the thing is sometimes some people might click on a particular video looking for a particular information but when they start watching it and they feel like okay i'm not getting what i want they will click off not knowing that in that same video what they want is there but because they cannot be patient many people might not be patient to just watch and then get to the point where you mentioned exactly what they are looking for so that's why this particular feature is very good because it's going to write direct people exactly to where to find that particular information that they are looking for also this feature is seo friendly not just on youtube for example if you go on google and you search for a particular topic maybe how to use a particular product or how to apply something or at what point to apply something or what to do how to do this on your phone how to do that on your phone now there are some responses that will pop up on google there are some particular responses that pop up in form of videos youtube videos but if you notice those youtube videos come in sections okay so it will be very easy for you to just click on that particular um response watch that particular part of the video and you've already gotten exactly what you want that means your videos can easily be um found by people who are searching for a particular information that's contained in your video even if they are not on youtube now what feature am i talking about this is known as stamp time stamp some people call it time stamp some call, some people call it chapters it is very very good that you have this on your videos if you do not know how to use it i'm going to show you exactly how to use it now in your description box so please like this video so that this information can get to a lot of people who do not know about this yet okay and you're welcome to this family that means subscribe now so you can get more useful content as regards your youtube channel we all are here to grow once i'm done showing you how to do this on your phone screen i'm going to show you i'm going to explain to you some things that you should avoid in order for this to actually be activated on your videos okay so don't miss out on any part of this video watch to the end this is my phone screen i'll go to youtube click on my profile picture and then go over to my videos right i'm trying to, i'm going to just look for a particular video that doesn't have the timestamp or chapters youtube refers to it as chapters so i'm going to use this particular video where i talked about three big mistakes keeping your channel small so let me click on the video now and show you the description box so that you see that i do not have any timestamp i do not have any chapter here one thing you need to know is that all your chapters must start from zero 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 and then you now take note of every point where you mentioned different tips in your videos okay if you mentioned 10 different tips take note of the particular minutes and seconds where you started talking about that particular tip i'm going to show you how i did it on this my own video because in this video i talked about three different tips now my very first tip started around about 49 seconds let me just play it so yes. that you can see watch me i watch you do you understand now this one is somewhat related so that was the very first one that i talked about how watch for watch can affect your channel and keep your channel small now my next tip my second tip i started talking about it around about um 6 24 or 6 20 something seconds let me just play it when it comes so that place i was talking about how misuse of trends can actually affect your channel and keep your channel small do you understand now the next one was around about 10 minutes 12 seconds with too many contents like a variety of content just take note of all the parts okay where you started talking about different points okay as many points as possible take note of the minutes and the seconds there and then from there you now go back to the front of the video you're going to see three dots in front of that particular video you're going to click on the three dots that are there 
Now, once you click on the three dots, you'll see edit. Click on edit and then you'll go over to your description box. Note that this is for when you have already uploaded a particular video. But if you are just trying to upload the video, this same interface will still pop up and you can still click on your description box. Then you go ahead, just come after your intro, after you've written your short intro, just come here and start with your timestamps all right so here i i some you can decide to write timestamps here or chapters but it is not compulsory as long as you are putting your time there it's fine youtube is still going to take that into cognizance okay so after writing that you now start with zero zero remember i said all your chapters must start from zero zero so your zero zero you can now write your intro okay so from the from the moment people clicked on your video it was your intro you we're talking about sometimes you can decide to put intro you can decide to put beginning you can decide to put start okay or if you said something specific there you put it there now the next one where you started talking about your different points you put it there for example my first point i talked about the very first mistake which is watch for watch and we know how watch for watch can actually make our channels to remain small so what i can do there is to write attracting the wrong viewers just write something that speaks about that particular point so that anybody that's looking for that in and includes the keywords we will easily find your video okay easily find that information so i put attracting the wrong viewers now for the next um one i talked about that one started around 6.24 or 6.21, right? So there I talked about how using trends the wrong way can keep your channel small. So here I can just go ahead and write wrong use of trends. Okay, wrong use of trends because it talks about exactly what I talked about at that particular point. Okay, so from there, I can now still go ahead and put in my third point that place i was talking about how using scattered content can keep your channel small so here i can just put something like niche down correctly once you are done just go back and click on save and it's going to just get saved now let me go ahead and show you the result of what we just did now if you click on more can you see down here can you see chapters right so you can see the different chapters that you already created so anybody coming here is just can just easily tap on whichever one they want and it will redirect them to that particular part on their videos once you have used this particular timestamp in your description box and you've uploaded your video what you want to do is to now go into your comment section copy that part where you already put the timestamps okay copy that part and remember i said your your timestamps shouldn't be less than 10 seconds or unless it's not going to work and it has to be well arranged from ascending to descending order do you understand so that it is going to work well for you okay so you're going to now copy these timestamps and take it and then paste it on your disc on your comment sections or in your comment section and then pin it so that anybody who is coming to your comment section can also easily find it you just tap on it click on it exactly the point where they want to get that particular information and then they will find it also take note of how you use these timestamps okay you don't want to use maybe you have maybe for example in your videos you have something like um a topic where you you broke everything down into like four points okay you don't want to start using maybe point one point two point three because it's still not going to help you okay so you want to put maybe how to find so so, so thing on youtube then the next part how to get this how to find this particular thing Do you understand so that it will be very easy for people who are searching for um questions that contain those keywords to easily find that particular information on your video if you do not know how to use your youtube studio yet go ahead and watch this particular video and on this video that is here i talked about a particular feature that you should turn off on your studio in order for you to be able to get your videos recommended the right videos recommended so go ahead and watch that particular video i just hope this video has been very helpful to you if it has please do well to give it a thumbs up so it can also help more people and you're free to join this family by subscribing and turning on your post notifications so you don't miss out on whatever it is that i come here to teach you remember this channel is about teaching you what exactly i'm doing to help me to grow on this channel i'm not saying i'm a youtube guru we're all learning here together so whatever it is that's helping me i also come here and dish out to you so you're free to join this family thank you very much for watching and i will see you on my next one Bye.